right on the plot again that's the only place I ever am is on the plot apart from when I'm not on the plot um, just a quick show round really cut the greenhouse I've uh, I'm painting this box that's what I grow my leeks on in so I'll start my leeks off in a tray as most people and then I'll plant them in this box full of compost and uh, bring them on it's like a miniature nursery bed but I've dug all this soil and I've well there's copious amounts of perlite in it and I've put my compost in um, ready for tomatoes and peppers and stuff like that I've saved these strawberries from a uh, soil some uh, John in the soil that I was making outside which I've now scattered on the allotment and these are all my onion sets they're rooting they're rooting in look roots are there there you go they're growing in little tiny coffee coffee pots so they're all my onion sets for pickled onions this is Calabrese I sowed this last year at the latter part of the year they'll be going out soon and the time's right and this is this walking stick kale out of a pack of 20 seeds I got six plants Germ germination rate pretty darn poor carrots they're thickening up and growing but I don't think they'll come to anything. As soon as I've got to put my tomatoes in, they'll just get pulled out. But I keep watering them, something might come. You never know. Um, cut some posts. So this was one piece of wood, I just cut the wood down the middle, put a point on the end, and I've put two coats of creosote on it. So that's to repair the fence because the fence has started to fall down over on the small plot. Me fruit bushes are coming into flower, into bud, as you can see. This is me yosta berry. From the looks of it, I'm going to have quite a lot of berries. Black currants are coming in. Coming into bud. I've manured. This is all horse muck. Two year old horse muck. I've put around all the plants, including the rhubarb and the raspberries. Three raspberry beds there. All manured up for the goodness. Flowers are all coming. Right, the onions are getting bigger as you would expect carrot box a bit different to the last time like I said before there's just uh, three pallet collars there painted stacked on top of one another black pallet hood inside and I filled it with compost topsoil and vermiculite ain't bothered about growing any championship winning carrots that are dead straight I just want some carrots to eat wife has weeded all this oh let me just uh, go back there this is my cold frame I've got a saucepan lid handle for the handle and then I've got a piece of rope going up to two eyes on there coming back through the handle so I can lift and lower at this point here and then I just lift it and I just hook it on there or there wherever I want it so uh, that's so I can lift it up summertime when it's red hot and that'll be for my melons so that's my cold frame. Got a few leaks left. Um, that's where my peas are going to go next year. This will be full of brassicas, sprouts, calabrese. 
few parsnips to dig out. Onions, if they don't come to anything, we'll eat them as spring onions. And here, got that there, got one there, one over there. The broad bean beans are coming up at long last. So, it's probably been in there about a month, it started to warm up, they're growing brilliant. This, I filled this with horse manure. This is all horse muck in there. I shall let the worms do their bit and then when I can't wait any longer I'll turn it over and put some more horse muck in, ready for my run of beans. The patchy beans I'm growing this year, which are a French bean. Um, it's a real seed company bean. Um, you can always go on the real seed company and just look them up. They sound quite good. I'm growing them this year, we'll just see what happens to them. And where I normally grow my 10 foot peas here, in this mesh, which is up there, I'm going to be growing butter beans. More manure. I'm a tabry. That's getting quite, quite big, all new buds coming on that. Pigeons have been eating the broccoli. We had quite a lot of broccoli. And then all of a sudden, quite a bit of it's gone, but then the month, there's still plenty on there. Food meals, the broccoli. Um, once that's finished, I'm sure the chickens will be eating this. And I'm gonna put a row of potatoes in here next to this near this fence well not on top of the fence put a row of potatoes there I'm gonna grow Nicole this year which is a salad potato very nice oh there where the poops were Greenhouse is done and ready inside. You can't see in it. I've forked it all over. Manuring. Manure my gooseberries. This is my horse muck. Um oh. the person that's got a horse. I'll just collect it from their paddock in the van. And that's a that that's a full that's a van's van's worth. That's filled the van that did up. And uh, that needs to rot down. I mean this is the horse muck. I'm spreading on my garden now. All lovely and dark and and obviously the fresh stuff. It's a bit too rich to put on your garden, you get too many weeds. So Starts off like that and ends up like the end one. I've got a middle bay full of um, muck ready to use as well. So what I'm doing is I'm digging this out. Some of this will go on my asparagus bed. And um, what I'll do is uh, put some in my pea trenches. More on my runner bean trench. And whatever's left will get chucked in this middle bay. Fill that up. And then these bags will go in there. So I've got two new horse muck bays. It's my frame for my sprouts. Run out of the way, girls. Chickens. Look at the holes that they excavate. This is where I'm gonna I'm gonna grow sunflowers. Growing sunflowers in that bit next year. This year, sorry, not next. Oh, bloody hell. You will get under my feet, won't you? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. 
That's where I want to stand. Flip a neck. You wouldn't think I've fed them today. Numerous times they've had bread, corn, pellets. Watch this. Watch this. Ready, steady. Go on, girl. Go on. <laughs> 